Vector masks are great because they give you a, a lot of control over fine detail and they are also flexible to be edited after the fact. So I'm just gonna click and hold, it's going off the screen, but you'll see the pen tool. So make sure that's active. I've named this image original layer. And what I'm gonna do is, let's say you just need like a quick stylized mask here and it doesn't have to be anything too accurate. So I'll go around just clicking, I'm not even clicking and dragging to get handles, but let's call that the shape that we wanna use for the mask. And now all we need to do is click and drag this up here. And we're using that shape to mask out the bus. Okay, so that's great. I just wanna talk about a couple things here. So go into the move tool. If I have the original image layer selected, I move that, we're gonna get that result. This is a child of this mask here. So if I select the mask or the curve shape here, when I move that, that's the parent. So the child layer moves along with it. That's pretty much what you want. So what I'm gonna do next is, let's say you don't like this polygon shape and you wanna make it more refined. So what I'm gonna do is create a preview of the unmasked area. So I'll right click on here and I'll go to duplicate. Now what I'm gonna do is click and drag this down so it brings it out of that group. So clicking drag down, I see that line underneath, and now this is separate. So what I'll do for this one is rename it. So this is our preview. Let's take the opacity down so we know what's what. Okay, great. So now we've got the shapes. The only thing is if I move the curve, the preview is not connected at all. So if I move that, we're gonna get that result. So just to avoid that from happening, I'm gonna twirl this up here for now. Select these two, right click on the layer and go to group and we can expand everything now. All right, so now we've got a way to move the entire group. If I select it, I'm gonna move our masked area here, our image that's being masked and our preview all at the same time. So if we wanna move everything, We'll just select the group before we do that. Okay, so now that we've got this preview area, we could see the parts that we didn't get very good, like the tire here and details around. So what I'm gonna do is click on my curve and start editing this shape here. So I'm gonna have to click and hold here again. It's going off the screen, but you'll just select your node tool. And once you got that, now I, I can make changes here. I can select this point, hit this button here to convert it. So I got handles that I can move around. I'll make some adjustments here. I'll do the same thing on this one, move it, get some handles and and I'm just going quickly here. So nothing has to be perfect. Now, what I could also do is let's say we want the full bus here. I could just click this one, shift click this one, drag them back. Let's say about there, deselect, click this point, drag this out here. And with this node tool, you'll notice that if I click, I'm gonna get a new point here, add more detail. I could click one here, click one here, and if I just click and drag, instead of just clicking and releasing, this is kind of nice because instead of adding a new point, clicking and dragging will just edit the handles in between these two points, leaving these other handles untouched. And then I can just make edits to those. Hopefully we got enough detail to, uh, to get the shape of the tire. If not, of course, you could add another point just by clicking on the curve here and, and making your adjustments. Okay, and yeah, so you just do something similar here if you wanna get the rounded part, something like that. And we could do something similar here. And of course, if we wanted to uh, get a nicer, smoother rounding here, what we could do is select this. We could hit this button here but notice how this is editing the shape a lot. 
So I'm going to undo that. And before I do that, I'll just put a placeholder point here. I'll click around here. I'll put a placeholder point. And now when I convert this one, I'm going to have a lot more control. And then I could just shift this around. And yeah, so you could keep going in this fashion and you can get a pretty decent result pretty quickly. And then if you're done looking at your preview, you could just turn that off. Now you got your bus. And like I mentioned earlier, vector masks are able to be edited after the fact. So this is really nice because I can see I got a little extra area of the background on top here that I don't like. So I'll just click on the curve again. And let's find um Let's see a point up here, bring that down. Let's bring this down a little bit. Okay. So really nice, really flexible, easy to work with. You could start off with a low level of detail and then just kind of add the detail as you need it after the fact. And the nice thing is if we turn the preview back on, we can move our group. Everything is gonna stay together. So we've got a nice flexible mask that's easy to set up and edit after the fact.